Hi, it's Mikey B, and I'm here to talk about the tragedy that's been going on with these gay suicides. And I think that people can be jerks, they can be stupid, and not realize what an impact they have on people. You can have a gun and have it to someone's forehead and shoot them. That's instant. That is instant. But if you bully someone or say something mean or trashy about them, that's in their head forever almost. Like, before they go to bed, when they're eating, when they're at school, when they're talking to someone, that's on their mind. Um, so I understand exactly what they go through sometimes. Because I've, I've been in my head before, and I think that's really a problem, too, is don't think of the what-ifs. Do not. It's a dangerous path, because I've, I've wasted a lot of energy doing some crazy what-ifs, and it's never true. Also, um, for those of you who are not out or are straight, coming out is the hardest thing in the world. You do not ever know how people are going to take it or people are going to react. Um, you don't know how to tell them without making it just random or awkward. It's just something you have to do or else you really won't be happy because it's like you're holding yourself from out there, you know, like... You're wearing a mask, basically. You can not tell people that you like um, certain gender or whatever, but you also, you're afraid to fight stereotypes. And that's really what kills me too, is I don't want to be stereotypical. I don't, I want people to think that. Well, it's who you are, it's who you're born into yourself. I mean, it's not something that is like, oh, change that. Change yourself. Like, I could change this shirt, but I can't change myself. You know, people in relationships are like, you can't change the other person. They say that. So why would they talk about sexuality? Like, you can just change it. Like, this is ridiculous, and um, sometimes it's hard to talk to someone about anything, really. Like, you don't want to be a burden, and I have family, friends, significant other. I have all that stuff. In this room right now, there is no one. No one is texting me or calling me. No one's on Facebook. No one's on iChat that is talking to me, you know. I don't want to start a conversation with something on my mind because I've had things that have happened that show that people always don't like that or they get annoyed or they get sick of it. Well, if you are feeling suicidal or having those kind of thoughts, there is help and I would like you to call 866-488-7386 or go on the website at thetrevorproject.org and they will help you. Or if you just need someone to talk to about anything, anything that you feel alone or you just can't say or you need like a therapy session. You can email me, and I'll post all this too, but my email is wickedtouch8 at gmail.com. I, like, I will get back to you as soon as I can, and just hang in there because it gets better.